Are you a janitor? Eh, that's a stupid way to start a video. Anyway, okay, so in this segment uh, here on YouTube, uh, we're going to talk about sweep picking, the most elusive and sought after shred guitar technique of them all. The ones who mastered it are both subject to praise and ridicule as it became quickly the most overused technique in metal, but it sounds awesome. So that's why it's so overused. I can't believe you're still here watching this video. I, I mean, you must be a guitar nerd. And so uh, I'm a guitar nerd, you're a guitar nerd. Let's celebrate in our nerddom together and play some sweep picked arpeggios. Here's what they sound like. All right. Um, so those are some sweep arpeggios. Uh, and, and, and I love that sound. So here's how I would suggest getting your sweep picking up to par, I guess is the word. I'm not totally sure. If you want to start learning this technique, do not start with what I found as the most suggested sweep to start with. These little three string guys, they're no good. They're just too cramped and it's no good. We want to learn the overall technique. And so what we want to do is get five, maybe even six strings uh, to, on our right hand up and down our guitar strings, just like this. This is what we want to learn with, uh, not, not these little cramped little guys. I promise you the five string sweeps are much better to start with. So here's my suggested starting point. Our five string minor sweep. Here's what it sounds like. I'll play it a little slower. All right. So if you are watching closely and you're an astute viewer, you might notice that I don't use any legato. Uh, legato is where you're doing lots of hammer-ons and pull-offs, that kind of stuff. Not using legato is key to making these sweeps sound very precise and awesome. Another thing, palm muting is absolutely essential. So when you're playing these sweeps, you can watch my right hand following my pick up and down the strings. I'm not doing any of this wrist movement like this. It's a lot of keeping my right hand the same and just going up and down. The ascending is all muted by my right hand and the descending is all muted by my left hand. So we're keeping these fingers nice and flat to the strings. Other than that, it's really just practicing in your mom's basement until you're making enough money working in an Italian fast food restaurant to move out on your own where you still can't afford internet and spend all your time practicing guitar while watching Simpsons reruns with the director's commentary turned on. Uh, or no, that was me. That's me. Sorry. You do, I don't know, whatever you want to do, but that was, well, that's the way I got uh, here. Not here. I drove here. Um, if you want to check out this sweep, here's a tab of it. All right, so that tab uh, shows you exactly how to play this sweep. Um, now, the <laughs> now the thing about this sweep, it's, it's based off of your A minor chord. And if you know anything about guitar, which I imagine that you do, your A minor chord kind of looks like that. If we take that whole thing, we move it up to the 12th fret, it looks like that. If we add a bar on that 12th fret, it looks like this. Now we add a few more notes. We add our minor three. And we add our octave at the top. So now we have a minor sweep arpeggio based on your A minor open chord. One thing you might notice about my right hand is that instead of doing these individual picks, I'm actually picking through the strings and I'm doing something called pick planting. And that means I'm taking my pick and I'm picking through and then I'm resting my pick on the next string. That is so important to getting fast sweeps. <laughs> So you're really raking through all the strings. Another thing you can do is we can just move this wherever you want. Hopefully play all the right notes when you do that. Now when we think about sweep arpeggios, you might think it's a, it's a darker kind of sound, but we can also do this with major chords. If we take our A major chord here, we move it up, play all the right notes. There you go. Uh, up at the 12th fret here. You could even do that little guy, this bar chord, which I've shown students and they hate it. So if you can do this chord, oh my goodness, you're, uh, you're doing quite well. So we take this 12th fret and we add an extra note here. We add our major third. This is the note that makes it sound happy. And now we have an A major sweep. 
taking from your knowledge of chords, even if you know just the most basic chords, you can apply this thinking to any of those and, and, and sweep all across the neck uh, to your heart's content. So now that you know that you can take this technique and apply it to major chords and minor chords, that's gonna get you a long way towards playing all these different other shapes that you can do. I mean, you can just take those and tweak them just a little bit and make them seventh chords. Uh, you can make them a dominant chord, minor major seven chords, augmented chords, diminished chords, the, the uh, possibilities are endless. So that technique is gonna get you a long way to playing all those cool arpeggios. But if you are interested in learning more stuff like this, oh my goodness, we have a, a guitar course available at Guitario. Uh, I'm there, you'll be there maybe. There's so much cool stuff that we cover um, and, uh, and I can't wait to see you there. Uh, but I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be waiting for you. That sounded weird. I am waiting, no, I'm not waiting for you. Uh, very excited to see you there. Let me know in the comments what your favorite sweep shape is. Uh, and there's plenty to choose from. You could play this one here. Uh, let me see if I can come up with something cool. Uh, that one sucks. How about this one? An augmented one. Or a, uh, a diminished sweep. Uh, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Let me know in the comments what your favorite sweep arpeggio is, and I will see you there.